So I'm here at a place I first came to in 1983. I was very fortunate, I was over at Frodgham when I was born and uh, I was with Tim Cleaves and we identified a sharp tailed sandpiper and I was only young and we came the next day to Spurn and I was looking out from here, probably a little bit further out, there's a little bit more land and I saw my first sooty shearwater and my first icterine warbler and the period of time was early September. And I'm back again this year, uh, a lot older, uh, but with a whole bunch of people, a fantastic team, part of the observatory, part of uh, Westmere Farm, particularly part of Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. And we're going to be running the Spurn Migration Festival. And the thing that got us doing it was a few of us just did some guiding for folks. And we showed them what you could see at this point. And we stood here on a couple of days in early September witnessing thousands of swallows and thousands of meadow pipits going past and I just wanted to give you a flavor right now it's just bales but at the beginning of September there'll be a, a digiscoping stand there'll be an optic stand there'll be visible migration point people watching from here through the day there'll be an extra awning attached to the sea watch hide behind me so people can uh, nobody can miss out they'll be sheltered during sea watching and there will be the ringing going on with the trap on the warren area just behind us and then you can't even see it properly but just over there the humber there'll be thousands and thousands of waders uh, some of them on passage others arriving to winter and they'll be accessible and talked about for everybody who's here. So uh, very excited and looking forward to the Migration Festival. This will be the place to be. Okay, I'm here by a very famous old Heligoland at the Warren. It's sort of in the Warren compound and uh, the whole Warren area will be a key site during the Migration Festival and it's here as birds are funneled down the triangle uh, that they find these last lot of bushes before the three mile long peninsula stretches before them and it's like a magnet for birds it's also a magnet for all kinds of moths as well uh, even last September we were here on a day yellow browed warbler early September two red breasted flycatchers while there was all kinds of visible migration going on so that's the Helgoland trap and then if we just pan the camera slightly right one of the things we've not talked about very much uh, yet in terms of the migration festival is radar so there's been a radar plotting uh, project going on for several months now and that will be live during the migration festival with an explanation and a display about how that is monitoring the numbers of birds and able to clock them that's moving through this uh, through this area on migration favorite little spot this is uh, still in the Warren area but instead of being on the seaward side by the sea watch hide we're now overlooking the Humber and uh, there's very little land in between them but you can see this is a place where thousands and thousands of waders gather and during the migration festival they'll be at their peak of arriving and migrating so this will be one of those spots where we can watch birds where we can do some digiscope digiscoping and digital photography and we'll just be looking uh, to see what we can see way curling around uh, behind me is the three mile long spit of the Spurn Peninsula and uh, I and uh, even more than me a number of folks could bore you with a thousand stories of rare birds and interesting birds that have flown past here have landed here uh, but what we're inviting you to do is to come and be part of this next story this year, the Migration Festival at Spurn. We'd love you to come.